Welcome to another Team Flick tutorial. Today we'll be going over the Goals module in its entirety. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the following areas. We will be visiting the My Goals section, My Team's Goals section, and of course, how you can access goals through the user page, ongoing meetings, and Teams chat. Let's start things off with My Goals. Here we are inside the TeamFleck dashboard. To access our goals, all we have to do is scroll down and go to My Active Goals. This is where we can view overall goal progress as well as go into each individual goal and make some small changes. To access the goals module directly, we can either click View All or go to the left sidebar and click Goals. Once inside the goals module, we are greeted with these five tabs. These tabs are my goals for our personal goals, my team for the goals owned by our team, Microsoft Teams groups is for goals related to each Microsoft Teams group, department for departmental goals, and of course, company goals. We can filter through goals through this drop-down menu. We can also filter according to each goal label or search for a goal. To create a new goal, we need to click New Goal on the top right side of the page. Then we need to pick an owner for the goal and then select a goal type. And these goal types are fully customizable. Then we need to select a goal title, put a description in, and decide how we will measure the goal progress. Will it be measured through percentages? a number value, currency, or anything else. Then we have the option to align this goal with a parent goal. This is a great tool for creating cascading goal structures. Then we need to select an end date for the goal, adjust visibility, and select create. We are currently in list view, and it lets us view all of our goals with ease. And if we expand by clicking this little arrow, it lets us see the cascading goal structure that I was just talking about. If we switch to feed view, it gives us a chronological view of our goals as updates are made on them. That's it for the My Goals tab. Let's move on to the My Teams Goals section. Under the My Team tab, managers can view all the goals owned by their direct reports with ease. They also have the option to view overall progress right here. This tab also comes with a special view called User View, and this is where managers can filter goals according to each individual. They can hide goals by clicking right here, or create a new goal by clicking right here, and view goal statuses for each goal. They can also search for a goal, and let's do just that. We just searched for the Enhanced Delivery keyword, and we found the goal. As you can see, this goal's progress is measured through the progress of its sub-goals. And the sub-goals are right here. We can either click on them and update them directly, or we have the option to change the weight of each goal and how they reflect in the goal progress of, its, of their parent goal. Let's make some changes. And once we do that, we can see the changes we make are now reflected in the progress of the parent goal. We also have the option to leave some comments. And as you can see, Benny did not mince words on this. We can click here to see each different progress update and click right here to attach a label to this goal. And of course, these labels are fully customizable through the TeamFlect Admin Center. We also have the option to create a task related to each goal. And if we click on this task right here, we can see that we can also create a checklist for this task dividing it into an achievable workflow. Now, let's talk about how we can view and interact with goals through the user page, meetings, and Teams chat. Goals are integrated into every facet of TeamFlect. For example, let's go into user search and go into Janet's user profile. We're clicking right here. And as you can see, we have all of Janet's goals right here. And we have the option to filter through these goals according to goal status. We can also create a new goal for her. Another way we can filter is through this drop-down menu. For example, let's pick the goals she has in quarter one. 
And if we click right here, we can edit the weight of each goal and how they reflect in her overall goal progress. We can also interact with goals through meetings. Let's go into a one-on-one -on -one meeting we have with Janet and click repair. And right here on the right side of the page, we can see Janet's goals. We can see her overall progress. We can click show goals to see all of her goals or create a new goal for her. But this isn't just limited to one-on-ones. Let's go into a team meeting. This one includes Janet and Hakan. And on the right, we can see the goals of both people. And we can filter through each individual by clicking on their profile pictures. We can also click show goals to see all their goals and create a new goal right here. But what, do, what does this look like inside an ongoing meeting? Let's join the meeting and fire Team Flect up inside this ongoing Teams meeting. We're going to click apps and then click Team Flect. If you don't see it there, you can always search for it. Let's click save. And just like that, Team Flect is now up and running inside an ongoing meeting. To access goals, we'll be clicking Present Team Goals to Everyone. And now we are presenting goals to everyone in the meeting. And once again, this is not just screen sharing. This is an interactive presentation where you can actually click on the goals and interact with them. We just filtered them according to status, and now we're clicking on a goal and we're working on it the same way we would outside of a meeting. Now, let's take a trip over to Microsoft Teams chat and see how we can interact with goals over there. We're heading into our chat with Janet. And on the bottom right side of the page, we see this little plus icon. Let's click on it and then select Team Flect. Once here, we're heading over into this little ellipses and clicking New Team Flect Goal. And from here, we can create a goal without leaving Teams chat just like we would through anywhere else inside TeamFlect. Goal owners inside TeamFlect receive automated goal check-ins through Teams chat in the form of these adaptive cards. The frequency of these check-in cards can be adjusted through the admin center, but all a goal owner has to do is enter their goal progress right here and then click save to update their goal. But that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact our support staff. Teamflect. Build teams that deliver.